Sure, sure, awesome. Sure. On a Zoom with me is uh, someone yeah. whose hot hit that I played earlier in the week. His name is Haas Laomo. I don't want to mess up your name. Hello, welcome to my Zoom. Hey, Danny. Thanks for having me. Okay, please tell us all your, your last name one more time so that we all have it. Uh, all right, so it's Laomo. So it's Haas Laomo. Where is this from? This is a very <laughs> sexy Latin feeling name. Oh, that's actually Italian in a way. I'm not Italian myself, but uh, yeah, sort of, sort of the it is it, it's just something that stuck. Oh, I love this. Okay, Haas, yeah. who are you? Where are you from? Um, what do you do for fun? Tell me a little bit about you. There is so much to talk about. I think uh, where I'm from. Well, I, I hail originally from uh, from Johannesburg. Uh, However, I'm, I'm in Cape Town now, so I've been in Cape Town for many years. And uh, what I do for fun is actually sing and do a lot of karaoke. So I have a lot of fun uh, in various places, just singing a lot. And um, yeah, I think uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I, I have got so much of South Africa in me just in terms of all of the different areas because I grew up uh, in Johannesburg, I grew up in Natal, I grew up in Cape Town. Wow. So it's almost sort of multi-country, you know, experiencing all of the various uh, traditions and experiencing different parts of this country. So a lot of that has, has you know, has really made me uh, into a person that sort of sees South Africa differently. And, and you know, when I sing, I sing uh, to try to... Um, enhance certain feelings but also things that I've, I've experienced as I've gone through this journey you know of, uh, of, of this life and Haas how does one okay so you've, you've traveled you've lived this extraordinary life how do you find yourself in Daniel Barron's Hit Kitchen Studios recording a song that's going to play on Jack Red FM what was the process to get there do you play an instrument did you study music Oh, uh, so, so Danny, you know, the thing is, I followed Daniel for a long time and it was always my ambition to somehow work with him, but I never knew how to. And uh, yeah, just to just to talk about my history, you know, I've, I grew up in a standard uh, home where it was all about academics. So it mm -hmm. was, you know, go and do a degree, etc. But, you know, I've always had this whole creative side that I wanted to explore. And um and, you know, from a young age, it was all either being an actor or being Superman and putting the cape on or trying to do something in a creative way. And I never really, uh, you know, went into that. However, as I slowly started, you know, going and study degrees, et cetera, got into some corporate work and blah, 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 I realized, you know, there's a part of me that still wanted to do the creative side. And I just love singing. And um, interestingly enough, I started uh, in a school in Cape Town. Um, and when I first started there, I knew I could sing, but I mean, <laughs> it was the most embarrassing day, actually. <laughs> uh, I, got into, I got into class and I, uh, I started singing and the teacher told me, you know, um, I don't think I want to work with you. <laughs> but she says, you know what, we're going to carry on because you have passion. And obviously, this is a process of, uh, of, of sort of continuous uh, learning and, you know, trying to develop your voice and your vocal. Uh, I started learning a couple of instruments as well because, you know, instruments were big part in, in in any musician's life in terms of understanding music for one, the, the language of music, uh, the creative side behind music, and obviously how you utilize your personal instrument, which is your body, your vocals, but mm. also uh, external instruments try to, you know, make sure that your ear listens to you correctly, etc. It took a couple of years, four years to be concise, uh, that I went through the process of really feeling, understanding uh, building this creative side, uh, you know, in terms of music. And from there, started launching a couple of tracks. And, you know, there were a couple of start launches. And again, you know, when you start something, it's not always, always the best and you continuously work. And, yeah, I started launching some interesting tracks in 2022, caught the attention of Daniel. And it was at a modeling competition that I was at. Uh, I was at a modeling competition and I saw Daniel Barron and I told him about the music that I'm doing. And he was very intrigued to listen to uh, what I had done already. And he really then fell in love with a lot of the stuff that I uh, was putting out there. And then we started working together. And I promise you, what a brilliant producer. You know, uh, beyond just being able to understand the artist and, you know, bring out and magnify the artist's capabilities in the artist's sound, also great mentor as well. I mean, the other day I was 
telling Daniel, I went for a karaoke session and uh, I might have, uh, you know, part a little bit too much. And when I did get up to st on the stage, I was, you know, I just, nothing worked in terms of uh, the vocal cords and coordination. And you know what a brilliant mentor in the way he told me that generally in these sort of scenarios, yes, you know, he, he has a certain way of, you know, performing and sometimes before your performance, you don't do certain things. And, you know, a lot of that then both as an artist. So, uh, you know, I take my hat off to him as a producer, as a musician as well, knowing how to, uh, how to manage musicians. So he knows what I'm going through. He knows, you know, before a recording session, what you need to do. Even during a recording session, you know, how do you, how do you make sure you get the best vocal out and, you know, how it calms you down, etc. So I think um, just been an amazing journey with Daniel. And uh, the Hit Kitchen has been uh, also pushing some of my previous songs that I, that I did before. But now uh, I think uh, working with Daniel has just opened my mind up a lot more. And, you know, one of the things that I can tell musicians out there is find the right individuals who, who will take you to the next level, who will really see uh, your, your inner strength and your inner capability and then magnify those capabilities and inner strengths. And that's how me and Daniel sort of work together. So I'm very, I feel very uh, honored to actually work with, uh, with an artist like Daniel Barron. You know, I love, love, love that. I love that message. Thank you. It is so important to find people who believe in you and believe in your craft. And you can hear it. You can hear the, the, the relationship and the authenticity in Meet Again, which is the single that I play on Jack Around FM. So talk to me a little bit about Meet Again. What do you want us to take from this single? Well, you know, I think Meet Again uh, has a lot of, um, there's a lot of, uh, you, you know, as we as we go through life, um, Danny, uh, the reality is we meet certain individuals or experiences in life where we sort of lose them and we come back uh, later and we always sort of think about it and we, we dwell on it. It could be a relationship uh, that that you had in the past, etc. And it's 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 always uh, that feeling that you have or that thought that you had says, you know, if you know, you did something different, or if you had to meet again, uh, you know, what would you do differently? How would you react? How would you, how would you be? And um, honestly, uh, it was it was produced and written by by Daniel. But if I had to also go back in my life, uh, and I, ex you know, there's so many people that I would love to meet again, and you know, it would be a different it would be a different me in this sort of world in this sort of meeting. Uh, and, you know, there could be a, a different spin to any relationship. And, uh, you know, you lose, uh, you know, that connection. Sometimes you, you have that connection once and you never really have that power connection again, even though you do move on. But you never have that power connection. And I don't know how to explain it, but it's something deep insights and inner feeling. And Meet Again is written uh, along those lines to say that, if you had to meet again, you know, how would it be? How, what would that feeling be? And what, what, what would build from there? And, um, and you know, sometimes you, you change as a person. As you go through your life, you change as a person. It doesn't have to take a long time. But in a year, you could change. In two years, you could change. In six months, you could change. And that new person, uh, what, would, what would that new person now, how would that new that change person manage that sort of relationship going forward? And sometimes, you know, as human beings, we're just human sometimes, and we lose a relationship because of certain things. So we might not do something at that specific point in time. And if you had to meet again later, what would it be? What would what would what would be different? And you know, where would could that relationship go? So it's all about that. It's almost just about being human. The whole idea behind meet again is just you know bringing out or magnifying human nature, um, the feelings that we just all generally have, um, trying to bring it to the service level, but also still being very deep. So it's almost merging that very deep feeling with sort of a service level idea. And um, and yeah, Meet Again is it's, it's sort of one of those songs that for me, every time I listen to it, I just, you know, I it, it takes me back to a time. And uh, I just smile. So it that's, a, uh, that's it, what. 
It is a stunning song, huh? So I have to tell you, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And it will be part of my Spotify playlist going forward. So thank you for this. Are there plans for more for the rest of the year? Or are you just going to ride this one for a little? No, absolutely. There, there's, there are plans. Uh, me and Daniel, we're busy working on something. Ooh. So we, we are, we're working on something to close off the year with. Um, it's going to be a beautiful party song. Mm. Um, something you can actually move, you know, something you can, yeah, it's, it's going to be a dance floor song, um, very summery vibes, etc. So we're going to be working on something and I, I want to close off the year with a bang. I want to give the listeners something to really be excited about. So what's coming for myself and Daniel is something very exciting uh, towards the end of this year. And, uh, and yeah, that's going to be the last one for this year. And yeah, you know, I think stay tuned for that one. That's going to be a very exciting one as well. Awesome. Haas, a message to your Jack Rand FM fans? Well, uh, I, I hope that, uh, first thing, number one, I just want to thank you, Danny, for, for having me on your show. And I want to tell all of the Jacaranda uh, listeners out there, I hope you guys enjoy the song. And, uh, and you know, just take the message from the song that, you know, we're all human. We just, you know, ourselves. And stay tuned for some big things from me as an artist. And you know, I hope you guys enjoy my music. Awesome. Haas, thank you so much for your time. Have the best weekend. And I can't wait to carry on playing your music. Thank you so much, Daddy. Take care.